Hey guys, welcome to About EVs. My name is Rob, and this is my new Model 3 Christine. Um, she was born during a pandemic, so I thought the name was pretty fitting. What does everybody do when they have a brand new Model 3, and I'm not going to be any different, is they have an accessory video. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to do the top six accessories that I think you should have as soon as you get one of these cars. You're going to want to do six things to it right off the bat. And, uh, and then we'll do some bonus stuff that I did afterwards. Not absolutely necessary, but stuff you probably want to do at some point. Um, so stick around. We're going to get right into it. Okay, so the first two accessories are right in the front, so let's have a look. The first thing I did is I added back the grocery hooks, which are missing, and they've been missing since about uh, mid-2019. My theory on that is they wanted to speed up the assembly process. I think having these in requires a human to actually assemble this front area, and without them, they probably can do it all with robots and have the worker do something else. So that's my theory. These were a buck in change when you went to pick them up at the uh, Tesla uh, parts department. Um, they charge 10 bucks each now, um, but you can still get them as far as I know. I, I did just get two and um, I just gave them the part number, which I'll put in the description down below and uh, you can order these and put them back the way they were um, when the car was originally uh, debuted in 2018 and in 2018 it also had a carpeted mat here so what I did is order that because they don't give you that anymore either um, you're gonna get the car with just the uh, bare plastic underneath so it's a nice touch to have the carpeting in here or any mat whatsoever and to put the grocery hooks back in like they were so number one and number two right here in the front take care of that so that it's got that finished look like it probably should have had when you got it. All right, uh, so three through six are all in the car, and specifically they're all in the console. Um, starting with um, number three, which is a wireless charging pad. You're absolutely gonna need one of these rather than the dumb pad that it comes with, it, which does nothing, and it doesn't even have wires that um, snake into the bottom but you could put them in, which would give you plug-in charging, but um, definitely want to go with wireless charging. So under that, um, I'd recommend the wireless hub, which is hard to see, but it's under here, and it just keeps everything neat and clean. Not only gives you extra ports, but it keeps everything nice and neat. It keeps your Sentry and dash cam drive inside a secret compartment in here. And that is number five, is the storage device that you're gonna use. Some people use an SSD. I don't recommend that because it's too big and clunky. This is set up for that. It has a magnet that you can use to put that on. It also comes with a, a, a USB-C wire. Um, but I suggest just going with a USB reader that reads an SD card. Get a nice size SD card, like a 128 gigabyte, and what I do is I partition that into two separate drives. So one is for music, and the second one is for your video for capture, um, Sentry and um, dash cam. So then it only takes one port, and that port is hidden in the USB hub. So that's number five, and number six is the game controller, specifically a wireless game controller. So it has the dongle which plugs in here and then it operates wirelessly. So you got games like Cuphead and other games that support it. Um, Cuphead, you can't even play Cuphead without one of these. So I recommend that you get one of these right away so that you can play games. Um, there's some games that are much easier to play with this than to try to play with the controls on the steering wheel. Um, so number six is a wireless gamepad. And 
I'm going to put all the links for this down in the description. And I'm also going to give away a wireless charging pad and a wireless hub if we get to a thousand subscribers. And I know that's a huge ask, but just hit that subscribe button. And if I get to a thousand subscribers, I am going to give away a wireless charging pad and a wireless hub to two lucky subscribers. So, all right, that's it for the major stuff. The six things that you absolutely need to get. Um, the rest of it's just bonus um, stuff. Nice to have. You don't absolutely have to get it as soon as you get the car, but um, you might want to get it. So we'll go into that next. All right, so bonus accessory number one is this Tesla J1772 connector that you already get one of these with the car. But if you're like me and you have one of these guys, which is a J1772 wall charger, um, it's nice to have a second one of these that you can leave home and then the other one you keep in the car all the time. So I got a second one of these. So that's my first bonus accessory. Might wanna think about that if you have one of these. All right, so bonus accessories number two, three, and four are actually all in the trunk here. And number two is these Tesla pucks. So these are um, basically jack stands that go into the inserts underneath the car. Um, this particular one comes in a bag and they're all in there. They, they look like hockey pucks, kind of just like the picture there. And um, they allow you to put the jack on these rubberized pucks at the exact point where Tesla recommends that you don't damage the battery or twist it a certain way um, when the car is on a lift. That's great if you're going to a service shop that doesn't really know too much about Teslas um, and doesn't know how to lift your car properly. Keep those in the trunks so that you always have them. The other thing, number three, I picked up is just this um, flat repair kit. I mean, Tesla gives you the roadside um, service, but um, just to have this in the car, um, it plugs into the lighter socket and allows you to refill um, a flat tire. And also comes with like the slime uh, goop that you can put in a tire that's leaking, you know, as long as it's not the sidewall. It's not a spare, uh, but it might get you somewhere off the side of the highway. To a more comfortable place to wait for help to come so that is something i carry with me as well and um, i'll put that in the description as well so bonus accessory number four is actually still in the trunk and that i don't know if you noticed but how bright the lighting is back here but that's because i replaced the lights that come with the tesla model 3 with some ultra bright led lights and yeah, I mean, you could hardly even tell there was a light back here um, before I put those in, and now it's much brighter. And uh, I'll show you the before and after pictures right now so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, I also use that same light in the glove compartment, and it lights that up much brighter as well. So that's bonus accessory number four, right? And so bonus accessory number five is the uh, polished uh, aluminum pedals that I put on and I'll put up a picture of that as they were installed as well. So not absolutely required, but a nice touch on the car. Really, if you don't have the performance, um, you're getting just the black rubber pedals and this makes it look a lot nicer, I think. Okay, bonus accessory number six is hardly even worth mentioning, but I did put in these uh, cup holder inserts. Um, got these from RPM Tesla with the, uh, the pedals. Um, and I kind of just threw those in so I would get um, a discount or free shipping or whatever it was. But they do live, uh, give it a nice touch. Uh, but they're not absolutely necessary. Um, it comes with a set that uh, you get for all the cup holders. And underneath the console, you get some uh, trim mats that go under there as well. Ooh, I almost forgot to mention that I did replace the uh, puddle lights that come with the car, which you, you could hardly even notice they were there with some uh, logo puddle lights that not only do you notice them, but they make a total statement. I absolutely love those.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was my accessories video. You got the six uh, must have right away accessories and then uh, the six bonus things that I kind of threw in there at the end. I hope you liked it. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget, uh, 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away that other stuff. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, even if you hate me. But I do owe you all a drink if you made it this far. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.